Hi! Initial D The Arcade is the current Initial D Arcade game. It was released in 2021 and has received tons of updates regularly. Under every official video and most official posts on X, formerly known as Twitter, you can find people asking for the game to be released on PS5, PC or just made available in third countries. Even videos on this channel have gotten such comments. As the game is currently officially available in only 11 countries and territories, porting it will broaden its availability to its target group globally. Wouldn't it? Let's analyze a bit. First, let's look at the timeline of Initial D video games. In the 90s, there were the classic racing games for Saturn, Game Boy and PlayStation. After the millennium, we had the typing games and then the initial D arcade stage series debuted in 2001. Pay attention to what happened next. The next console game was another stage for the Game Boy Advance, but that was an RPG, not an action game. Then over the next few years, we actually got a few arcade ports for the PlayStation consoles, released a year or two after their arcade counterparts. There was also Mountain Vengeance in 2004, but it was released exclusively in America, so it doesn't really count. Anyway, the last Initial D action racing game that you can play outside the arcade is Initial D Extreme Stage for the PlayStation, already two console generations ago. But look at the strategy Sega had at porting the games. They released the arcade version and they ported it a year or two after, less than a year before the next version arcade game. This is important to bear in mind when looking at how the arcade market worked then. So, what was the business model of making arcade games that was used for Initial D? Initial D arcade games were always targeted towards more serious players, having the card saving system and all. It is possible to play it casually, but there is a lot of value in being a repeat customer. The period from the release of Initial D arcade stage to the release of Initial D arcade stage 0 was 16 years, with 8 games released within that period, meaning the average lifespan of a game is 2 years. The formula is the following, you release the game, a couple years later you improve it, you add some things, maybe also remove something so you would have something to add in the future, and you release the sequel. After the sequel is released, you will discontinue the original. With the sequel, you will keep on repeating the same cycle. If you port the game, you will do so in the latter half of its lifespan, increasing the profits from that particular game and maybe adding some hype for the next game, while also not interfering with the profits of the sequel too much, since it should be an inferior game. This formula was kept until Initial D Arcade Stage 0. Then it became possible to update the game over the web, so instead of releasing a new game a year or two after, the game started to receive regular content updates, new cars, new tracks, new story chapters, collabs and so on, you name it. This gives people more incentive to play, since the game is constantly changing. They took this even further with Initial D The Arcade, now there are also limited time awards that change every month or two or so, that you can get by playing during that period. Not to mention the leaderboards. So, coming to the title of the video, why there will not be a port of Initial D The Arcade, at least in the near future. Simply put, it is because it is an ongoing arcade game. The arcade industry is not in the same place where it was 20 years ago. You need to keep giving players incentives to play the game at the arcade, otherwise it is not worth it. If you release a port, it will harm the profits of the arcade version. This also means that there won't be any Initial D action racing games during this period. The Initial D games that they could release would have to have different enough gameplay from the arcade. For example, the Perfect Shift Online for the DS, which is already a 10 year old game. The analysis has been a bit dry and cynical, I give you that, and maybe not showing the brightest future for the Initial D series. To end on a brighter note, I wouldn't worry though. I believe that the popularity of MF Ghost will also boost Initial D and we will get some additions to this media franchise. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.